ba 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 Recorded live. That's a that's a that's a tune that I've known for a while, guys, and I was uh, refreshed with it today. Uh, as I record this today, yesterday, I don't know. Time is just relative, right? Uh, but no, I, I I was actually a guest on a fantastic show, the Techno Granny. She's been around for a good long time as well in the podcast world, and uh, I got to meet her actually at PodCamp Pittsburgh. She sat in on my uh, Periscope impromptu session, and I think uh, one of my 101 classes as well. But uh, she was uh, really great to talk to and uh, invited me on her show, and we discussed uh, Periscope in particular. I'm on there right now, as I do during these recordings, and I'm trying to still position this so it's not an awkward angle. You got Roman Reigns in the background. Not you guys on the video, of course. But, uh, yes, she's using talk shoe, and we're talking about Periscope, and I thought that was a really interesting breadth of a paradigm there uh, because we're talking about uh, the Periscope is the new hot thing, right? Uh, everybody's on it. It's on your phone. I can do it anywhere. You got the heart tapping and everything. I'd love some heart tapping right now from you guys if you're out there alive. Uh, but uh, that'd be really great. It'd make me feel good. It'd make me feel great. There you go. Thank you very much for that. But uh, and then and then we're on a platform which is like one of the early platforms that I kind of started on. It was one of the early ones uh, because I know we got on talk shoe shortly after uh, or around the time of meeting them back at PodCamp Pittsburgh one uh, back at the filmmakers in, uh, in you know in, in, in 2006. Holy crap. And I love to see it's still going and it's a really cool concept. And, and if you're not familiar, it's a one. It's a local company here to the Pittsburgh area. I think they're up in Wexford, PA. And they. um they have an interesting system, and it's a little... I, I fear it might be sort of outdated. I had installed Java in order to get this application working for the chat room. And uh, and it, it was interesting because it was one of the early ones where, you know, all you needed to start a podcast was a phone, right? You had this thing where you could call in, do it over the phone, and you could have other people call in, and there was this interesting chat timeline system uh, that they had going on, uh, and 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 it really kind of got us started with that. And we 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 did call do call ins as awkward as they were. We weren't really good about managing them uh, at the time, but it was a learning experience. And uh, it's kind of turned into what we have now. How we kind of use kind of a hybrid Google Hangout, Wirecast, uh, uh, YouTube Live kind of a uh, uh, multiple system, right? And, and, and I love that, and I love the live aspect. As, as I've stated here on these shows and my blogs, I just love uh, the idea that people are viewing you live, responding to you live, you know, and, and, and being able to be part of a show like that in a lot of these instances. And, and, and again, you know, we've come so far from the talk shoot to the periscopes where, you know, it is so accessible to everybody it's not just a podcast kind of thing and we're not just you know when, when we talk about these things i know we kind of really kind of boil these down to the podcast idea but it is i want to do live video i want to broadcast my video games live i want to show how we're doing uh, this thing at this event here live uh it, it's really an extension and and selling into that podcast idea is i feel restrictive at least to some points and, I, and I'm, I'm i'm certainly concerned about that uh, for some people, but uh, but generally, uh, you know, we can do anything live now. We can do audio live. You know, we 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 can you know just Spreaker does a thing where I think you can record live through the phone, and they have this whole system set up there. And there's so many options. There's the talk shoes, the block talk radios. There's the Spreakers. There's the uh, geez, what else is going live? Oh, here's the YouTube live. There's Ustream. There's Twitch TV, and 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 there's so many different things. It's not just a bunch of us talking about technology like we were back in the day. Actually, we're kind of the atypical thing because we were talking about pro wrestling at the time. But all your big ones, an easy way to get numbers when you're an early podcaster. Let's talk about technology because the technology and the forward thinking people are the people looking for podcasts first. And of course, we've gone a way away from that. But I think still you're going to find that a lot of the big numbers are those technology casts that have been around for so long, for the 10 years, and got that early foothold uh, with the people that were there on those platforms. Now you're getting a lot of general interest. You're getting the, the radio labs and the, and the 
and the uh, NPRs and the serials and everything. So the general populace is looking for them, but they still have to be so forward thinking that they're looking on these phones. But but again, at that mass is happening. I mean, the mass is looking on Periscope. The mass is looking on YouTube for live things to a certain aspect here. And and you are getting that. Um, now, I mean, I think my, my, my crowds are are small but mighty. They're very... They're very uh, interesting. They're very uh, interactive, uh, but it's no, we're not getting like insane, insane numbers. But they, st- it's still something that contributes, and that's okay. You know, uh, we don't have a ton, ton of people in, but still, like you know, if eighty people went through, they they saw something, a little bit of the product. You know, they saw a little bit going on, and maybe they followed through to the website at Sorgatron.com and signed up for a newsletter or something. You know, and, and you never know, and, and and you need to get yourself out there. You never know what eyeballs are going to fall on you. Much like we talked about, uh, I think we talked about on here in, in recent weeks, numbers. And or maybe another discussion. I don't know. We, we I, I have these talks a lot, so I don't know uh, what all is interconjoining here. Uh, but, uh, you know, b- you don't need the big numbers to be a success. It depends on your goals, right? You need big numbers if you want to play the ad game and be part of this YouTube red that's going around and get something going on there, become a PewDiePie millionaire, of course. But that is uh, the hard... Well, it was, there was, there's, there's shows that I'm listening to that are comparing, comparing I want to get on YouTube and become PewDiePie to I want to practice basketball every day, become Shaquille O'Neal or Michael Jordan, right? Uh, probably aged examples. I don't know who's the hot thing these days in basketball, sports ball. Hey, we don't even have a team in this town, so... Um, so when you look at that, there's other avenues. Um, a lot of the other successful people are looking at, Hey, Patreon, it gets a little more per person, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe you're, you're looking to advertise. You're not going to, Chris Brogan was very good to say, you're not going to make money off Periscope. That's why he doesn't make money off Twitter. So he doesn't put his, his, his effort behind those. He goes on mailing lists. That's what's effective for him. Now, that's for him. That's fine. And I think in a lot of cases, yeah, the mailing list probably is going to be more direct and more effective. And that's also going to capture a larger group of people that have been on email for a lot longer, too. And if uh, you do things the right way, uh, you get to connect with a lot more with that. But I think we're also, in some cases, still kind of figuring out social media. We do a lot of social media, but are we sitting back and saying, okay, what works? But back to life. Uh, again, it's that intangible bit, right? It's, uh, it, 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 it's that, that unpredictability. It's uh, more than just sitting here reading a script and notes, which are great. I've been listening lately to uh, Professor Buzzkill. He's a guy that has a topic, boom, 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 and, and that's great cereal something highly produced in the radio labs highly produced they're there it's in its package that's fine that's not what i like to do uh that's not what i like to produce although there's some things we're doing a little more potentially here as well i like the conversation i like the back and forth i like the informational the 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 genuine informational uh, with a little bit of structure you know i think there's some uh, um um, discussional podcasts that get a little bit out of hand, uh, and we try to rein it in as much as we can. And if we don't, that's my bad. Uh, but uh, but uh, I, I I like that kind of talk radio kind of feel to it. And if you're going to feel like talk radio, talk radio is live. Well, I guess mostly it's live. I guess sometimes in some cases it's not. But that's a whole other thing. So. Uh, so, yeah, again, I just wanted to touch base some interesting looks at things and how long we've been able to do live from the talk show to Periscope uh, air is here, which are both all still kicking. And that's really, really awesome. Uh, shout outs to the Techno Granny. Go look up Techno Granny show on uh, the iTunes on TalkShoe.com. And, of course, I believe it's Positively Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, once I see everything up, we're going to put it on the blog over there at Sorgatron.com. 
and you can click over the links and check out what they have going on. And uh, please go there in general and check out more of these shows, my write-up from this past week. And, uh, of course, please sign up for the mailing list so you know everything going on. we got a lot of cool webinars. Um, right now we're setting up for an intro to audio podcasting. I know some people interested on the meetup group for the Lunch and Learn, and we have a webinar to follow that up as well. So thank you so much for everybody signing up and getting interest in that. If you have any questions, please hit me up on any of those formats or at Sorgatron on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.